Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. In today's video we will be talking about actuators. This video is a continuation in the motor control series. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, I highly recommend watching those before continuing this video. The things we will cover today are devices classified as actuators and go over a few of them, which are electromechanical relay, solenoid, solenoid valve, stepper motor, and servo motor. Before we dive into the video, if you aren't subscribed, then please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. Also hit the notification button so you won't miss any of the new videos uploaded. Let's start off by addressing what actuators are. An actuator is a device that moves or controls some mechanism. It turns a control signal into mechanical action. The first device we'll start off with is the electromechanical relay. In this section, we'll briefly talk about them since we will cover more in a future chapter. Nonetheless, an electromechanical relay is a device that mechanically switches electric circuits. It consists of a coil, armature, spring, movable contact, and fixed contacts. Relays will usually only have one coil but may have multiple contacts. They have a NC, normally closed, and a NO, normally open, contact. In the de-energized state, the normally closed contacts allow current to flow through until the contacts change state. In the energized state, current flows through the normally open contacts until the contact states change. In the example, when de-energized, the red indicating light will be on. After the coil is energized, the red indicating light will go off and the green indicating light will come on until the coil is de-energized. A solenoid is a device that is made up of a coil, frame, and plunger. When current is passed through the coil of wire, it exhibits the properties of electromagnetism and a magnetic field is inducted within the core and around the coil. When the magnetic field is produced, it attracts the plunger, pulling it into the frame and therefore creating mechanical motion. Solenoids are available in AC and DC, but AC solenoids tend to be stronger in the fully open position due to the inrush current. The solenoid valve is an electromechanical valve consisting of the solenoid, coil, and a plunger that's connected to the stem of the valve. They are used to control the flow of liquid or gas in pipelines or certain processes. When current is passed through the coil, a magnetic flux is produced around the coil which allows the motion of the plunger. While being energized, it will either open or close to direct the flow of the substance. When current is removed, the magnetic flux is removed. Solenoid valves are commonly used in tank processes. Shown is an example of a manual tank operation and the control circuit used. When the tank is at the empty level, Pressing and holding PB2 will energize solenoid 1 and begin filling the tank with mixture A. Solenoid 1 will stay open until float switch 2 is actuated. When the tank is filled with mixture A, holding PB3 energizes solenoid 2 and begins filling the tank with mixture B until float switch 3 is actuated. When the tank is filled with both mixtures, PB4 is pressed and held to energize the agitator motor and start the mixing sequence for 12 seconds. After the mixing sequence is complete, pressing and holding PB5 will open solenoid 3 and start the pump in order to drain the tank. The operation can be restarted once CR1 is energized. Let's go over two other types of actuators. These two actuators are the stepper and servo motor. The stepper motor is a brushless, synchronous electric motor that operates differently than normal motors. These motors do not rotate continuously. Instead, they rotate in discrete increments when electrical command pulses are applied to their terminals. The full rotation is divided into number of steps and the motor must be sent a voltage pulse for each step. Like all motors, they consist of a stator, which has the coils, and a rotor, which has the permanent magnets. These motors produce full torque while at standstill and are used in devices that need precise positioning and speed control. They are most often used in open loop systems, where the controller tells the motor how many steps to take and how fast to move, but has no way of knowing the position of the motor. Servo motors are controlled by sending them a pulse of variable width. 
The motor is controlled with an electric signal, either analog or digital, which determines the amount of movement. These motors are used in applications requiring precise position control such as robotics, CNC machinery, camera focus, antenna positioning, and many more. Servo motors use closed-loop systems, where it uses position feedback to control its motion and final position. The components for the system are a motor, drive or also referred to as an amplifier, and a feedback mechanism that can include an encoder or resolver. These motors are available in both AC and DC. DC servo motors provide very accurate and also fast response to start or stop command signals due to low armature inductive reactants. AC servo motors have high accuracy and can be controlled precisely as required for its applications. This concludes the video on actuators. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. In the next video, we will be looking at DC motors. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at underscore ISCA underscore engineering. The links will be provided in the description. There we do daily posts on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.